Hi bestie, welcome to my dear diary. It's a long time no see. Um, today, you quite some of you know what I'm gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about my sexual life. Okay, we're gonna call it spaghetti time. Okay, spaghetti time is for is is for the act, and spaghetti is for S E X. Okay, so we follow each other. So good. If you hear my belly, it's normal. Like every time I do a freaking podcast, you're gonna hear normal. Okay, don't mind me. It's fine. I did just drink something, so it's normal. So you know. So I'm gonna talk first about who I feel about it. So maybe you will um, see yourself. If it is, I'm sorry. I really am sorry that you have to go through this. And if not, well, I hope you you're gonna think it's quite of interesting. So let's go. Um, first of all, so I met someone, I, not now, but in the beginning, I met someone like very, some months ago and, uh, the person was really good, was very nice, everything. And, uh, after some weeks, I think the girl invited me to, to, to go sleep at her house. <clears throat> it was okay for me, but I, I, I quite of made understand that I did not want to go to that part because I did not feel good at, about it. I did not want it. <clears throat> For some kind of way, uh, but, uh, <laughs> she tried, okay, she tried, and um, that's when I understood that I had something that was not okay yet with me. The problem with that is that she did not understand, because, and I understand her, because it's very uncommon for a guy to not want that. So when I told her, like, <laughs> I, I can't, like, no, I'm sorry, no. She did not understand, so she tried a second time. So I said, no, just, I can't, just, mm, I'm sorry, no. And at the third time, she really did not want to, to understand. So I said something that I did not want to say, but it was my last hope to stop. I said, you make me think a lot about my ex. It was not true, but I just wanted her to leave me alone. She was mad and she thought it was her and her body. She was, she felt insecure about it. I felt very bad about myself, not about, uh, it's just about the fact that I made her feel bad. I, I was very un un uncomfortable because I just did not know what to say. And I know it was bad for me to say that. But I just wanted her to not touch me. And th that's not a reason for me to not have the fault. Okay, I completely know it, it was bad. <clears throat> After that, uh, we stayed like trying, like not the spaghetti, but we stayed like trying to, to, to know each other better. And then every time she invited me at her house, I had like very bad anxiety. I did not want to go. I did not want to go. Like it was no way, like for me, I did not want to go because I, I, I was scared if that must happen. Like I was no freaking way. So I always found an excuse to not go always like it, physically it was impossible. I was disgusted and I just thinking about it. I feel disgusting. Like, and it's not the girl. Like I swear, it's not the girl. She, she was very perfect. She was everything. She was beautiful, everything, but just thinking about spaghetti <laughs> oh, disgusting just it disgusted me and then i met i i tried to talk to another girl and that was also something she she said i was her soulmate very fast like after one or two weeks i was like jesus christ no she wanted to come one week to my house i was like no not at all like just no so I, I, I stopped talking to everybody. I did not want to, to talk to anyone anymore. It was done. I was like, okay, today everybody's going so fast. I can't cope with that. I can't like this, 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 I don't even want this. I don't want this. Like, I'm just asking to do normal things. Like, and did I have spaghetti before? Yes, 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 I did, I did with uh, two persons and the last one. I know that that the last one is why today I <laughs> it disgusted me. She did nothing wrong. I mean, 
we did not she didn't ask me to do something that disgusted me or not at all it was not the act because i had fun with with her and and it was good at the moment but i know where the problem is i i can't explain but before explaining where the problem is i would like to explain to you like it's not her fault uh she 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 we are we were young okay we were young and like when you you fight with someone like argumenting or when you see someone on the street and you begin to yell or everything you don't really think about what you do or what you say so you don't really know so please if you know who i'm talking about leave her alone it's not her fault okay it's me my mind and and i have to cope with that okay so please please i i really please you don't it's not her fault okay please so i know where the problem is um in in through the relationship i i, I did love that girl i did love her uh, I, I think i don't know if i didn't know what love is until I, do i know it i don't know did i feel it for real i don't know so i i think i loved that girl and in the beginning everything did go fine and everything but after one month of in the relationship um <laughs> she <laughs> she cheated with my best friend okay uh yeah so that was already something hard but i i did go through it you know it it was okay I could forgive her. Did I still talk about it with her? Yes. Did she get mad? Absolutely. But I needed to say it. Like, why did you do that? Na -na 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 -na. After six months? Absolutely. So I know it's not her fault. If I wanted to forgive her, I just need to forgive her and not talk about it even after months. Okay. So that was my biggest mistake. That is my mistake. But after that, the relationship go further and further. And uh, I'm not going to go into details, but... At the end, she cheated on me eight times with eight different people. So I know my problem today is that, like I said, I'm scared to not be enough for someone. And for me, spaghetti time is something really important. Not doing it, but I mean, in a relationship, it's something special in that way. Important in the way that it's special. For me, that's something between you and me. My body is from you and I know like you are free, you are completely free, you do whatever you want, but spaghetti time for me, it's you and me, it's between us, it's something special between us. That's why I've never had, never had one night stand or anything, I did never have spaghetti time with someone that I did not know or anything, no. Like for me already, if I have to kiss someone or even have spaghetti time, it's really if I have feelings for you. If I don't have feelings, don't even try to touch me. Like really, don't even try to touch, touch me because I'm going to push you away and you don't touch me. Point. And um, I know the relationship did go really, really bad because I did not understand her. And I stayed with her. Yes, that's why I'm saying it's not her fault. First time, okay, she cheated. Anyway, she said sorry. So fine. The seven other times, it's my fault. I did stay. I did stay. I wanted to stay. So... <laughs> At this point, it's not her, it's me. And we have to be very clear on that. But I never understood who she could do that. And then come at my house, like really literally one hour after, come at my house, sleep with me, and act like nothing happened. And who, slowly, did I know? So first time I found out, oh no, I mean, I found out everything, the, the, the eighth time I found out. But every time was quite of easy to know because sometimes three months and she did not even want me so she, we, we we really saw each other very often very often we had that chance and after three months she did nothing she didn't she didn't want from me at all physically so you know sometimes you don't understand what's happening so i felt disgusting i i did not know so i was talking to her i was like listen i i just can you tell me why you are absolutely not attracted to me physically like, just tell me why. It's not that, yes, no, it, it 
it affected me and i told her like i feel very insecure about that like normally i understand two weeks three weeks one month but three months like i i can't understand and in the beginning her excuse was like but you never come to me and i was like okay i accept that so i, I will try to make efforts on that <laughs> And I try, oh my God, I'm sorry. And I, I tried to make efforts on that. And um, she pushed me away. She pushed me away, so I, I understood. I was like, okay, not not tonight, not tonight. So I, I did leave it. And I, you, you, she asked me for effort. I do effort and then you don't want me. I mean, once, twice, I don't I don't try anymore. I'm sorry, but it, it touched a lot my ego. So I did I did not want to do it anymore. So at the third time, I did not try. I, I asked her, I was like, okay, I tried. So what's the problem now? What you gonna tell me? And she was like, I don't know. I'm just not in the mood. And I was like, okay, do you feel depressed or something after three months? Because it's just at some point, just, you know, no, it's just, you know, I don't want it. You have to understand women's we are like that anyway. <laughs> and it was her birthday and I did do a party for her and uh, everything was fine until the party and my ear began to beep quite off when her best friend was like who is it going with her and I was like fine yes it's going fine actually I mean she's quite of okay we see each other uh, um, quite of often we don't fight that much so it's very nice and she was like okay and then I knew there was something there was some bullshit so we go to my house and I'm driving after the, the, the birthday party, I'm driving. And suddenly she, she, she was looking at me in the car and I was like, what's up? And she was like looking like this. And I was like, what's up? And she was like, you know, one day I will give you all this back. And I was like, what you mean? And she was like, nothing. So we go to my house, we sleep and everything. And the next day at 9 a.m. in the morning, 9 a.m. I had planned things because I mean, it was for me the night with her friends and then the other day I wanted to do something like for the both of us, like two alone. 9 a.m. she goes, she, she was like dressing her up. She's going, but she's going, like she's going. I was like, where are you going? I don't get it. I was still in bed, like, and she was like, uh, I need to go. I need to go to the pool. I need to do my, my um, workout and everything. And I was like, but I told you we had something to do for your bird and everything. She was like, um, you're going to respect the fact that I want to go to the pool. And I was like, I respect it every time. You go every week, three times a week, four times a week to the pool. And she was like, yeah, well, I'm sorry, but I need to go. And I was like, okay, fine. Do you come back? She was like, I'm going to see. I was like, okay. And I, get, I had a gut feeling, my bad. I had a gut feeling. And that's when I knew. And actually, I know that. Why am I telling you that? Because I know that was the worst for me. That was the worst time. Why? I know too, but I'm not going to, uh, we're going to see. And I knew there was a problem. I knew there was a problem. There was a catch. So I called her. I called her one hour after. I was like, she don't pick up. I was like, Jesus Christ, this smells so bad. I, I let her. I let her. She called me back. Yes. Uh, what's up? What, what, why are you calling? And I was like, where are you? We need to go. She was like, yeah, actually, it's just, uh, I, I forgot actually my swimsuit. So, so I did to, to need to go back. So, so anyway, she was shitting bullshit. And I was like, okay, fine. I want to cry. Okay. I want to cry because I knew her. I knew her voice. I knew everything. I knew she was lying, but so bad. And then she came home and I, I just looked at her in the eyes and I said, I know. And she was like, you know what? I was like, I know. I know you cheat on me. And she was like, no, I don't and everything. I was like, I know because I did go to the pool and I followed you. And she was like, yeah, you psychopath. I knew it. And you know what? Well, it's not my problem. Uh, I did not. Anyway, she was just, she, she did not want to accept it. And then I understood she was because I did not follow her. I was literally at home. And then I smiled, but like, you know, when you don't move and you just smile. And she was like, why are you smiling? And I was like, you know, I did not follow you. I, ju I did just test you. And she was like, do you see who you are and everything? I was like, did you sp 
I know this is weird, but did you spaghetti with him? And she was like, no, I did not. Na, 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 na. And I was like, did you spaghetti with him? And she was like, yeah, but... And then, I mean, I told her, just leave me the fuck alone. Just go away. Just go away. Uh, the thing is, the guy came to my house to slap me in the face. I have still a video I'm not going to post it on the internet because I just want to, to keep that as... For if some someday you know this guy because this guy was 35 years old I've, i mean i have some ego but please just i i will never understand that bullshit anyway when that guy came to my house to trying to slap me in the face and everything um he did not by the way he did not i called her and i asked her because the guy told me she gave me your plate number that's who i found you like Jesus Christ okay bye. when I saw that guy and he showed me everything and he was like just laughing in my ass and I will always remember he said you have followers but I fuck I fucked your girlfriend I was like if this is social media I don't want it I don't want it at all and when I called her to ask her why she did do that not the cheating just why did she bring him to me like I did literally do nothing wrong she was like listen i don't have time to to to, to explain uh, it's like that point i was like okay and i was still mad i was still mad so i did call her at night and ask her like why did she cheat on me again i don't understand like i need to know just to to, to go through it and that's when everything changed because she said something and i know someone can be mad you know that's why i don't mind it's not her fault at all please believe me you as a human I, I completely accept the fact that you don't want to accept your mistakes so you prefer to just throw things in the face of someone and and that's all and when she told me like yeah that's why i did not want you to touch me you disgust me since so long i just don't have feelings for you this and that and i was like why did you not leave just leave me the fuck leave me leave me after that, yes, I did go back with her because I think this was the fourth, fourth, fourth guy. After that, it was very hard for me to have spaghetti time with her. Very hard. She never understood. Never understood. Every time she was like, she came to me because after that, yes, she had no one else than me. So she came at me and, and began to, to try to touch me. And I was like, every time, like, I'm sorry, but I don't want to. I, I can't you and I said it and I know it's wrong but I said it I said you disgust me not your body but just you because you don't feel mine anymore just I don't like it I don't want it and I just remember her telling me you are telling me no like <laughs> the fuck like you not wanting me that's not possible and just her coming coming on me no it's not uh, abuse don't worry it's not abuse i no it's not abuse at all uh no but after that like did we fight sometimes yes because <laughs> after the spaghetti time she was like why do you say nothing like because normally i talk but then she was mad because i talked i, I never anyway and then she was mad she was like y you are there but you're not and i was like yeah just i told you i did not want to so I'm just yeah empty and I was she was like Ugh. and she turned around what I can understand you know there was no love anymore but I don't know we stayed together for her I don't know why because she still cheated fourth time after but she never knew because I always ask her why did you stay with me she said I don't know I have, I feel pity for you, I think you say pity, no pity, no, I don't, I don't know, like, I'm scared you kill yourself, that's why I stay with you, I was like, I, I, I would have preferred, you know, <laughs> I would have preferred, and I know today, it's, it's not about me doing something wrong, but it's really me, like, I know you, you can't tell, I, I don't want everybody, I don't want to put everybody in the same sack, but I'm scared, and I know it's my trust issues. And I think, yes, 
I'm scared of, of spaghetti because um, for me it was something special, but I felt so, I don't know, touching my intimacy. It was her body, I know, but I saw videos of her, I saw text messages, I saw, anyway, and I just hate it now, I just hate it because I'm not gonna cry, shut the fuck up, bitch. I just hate that this generation is just like this. It's all about body counts and how much people you can just have in your life and I, don't, I can't with that. I just don't like this. And I'm, I'm, I know I'm not made for this generation and maybe I'm gonna stay alone my whole life and that's completely fine. Because I prefer to, the, I prefer, because I will never ever want to have this again. Like just, I. I was about to have an apartment and I told her like, you know, I'm scared of having an apartment with you because the only thing I'm scared about is coming home and finding you with someone else. Like, like I can't, like, I just can't have an apartment with you because I know it's going to happen. Like, I know you, you don't want me and I don't, under, don't understand why you stay, but I don't understand why I stay. So that's why I say it's not her fault. It's me and my ego that wanted to always come back to her. So leave her alone for the love of, of Jesus Christ leave her alone but yeah i don't i don't i don't i don't feel in i i don't fit in in this generation at all and like i said you know girls sometimes also they they don't understand that guys like me can feel like that and don't absolutely don't want that until i feel safe i'm not safe but like yeah actually safe with you I don't even know if I'm gonna post this. This is just cringe as fuck. Anyway, yeah. I just, really, if you cheat, I hope you understand what you're doing. Because it's fine if, it's okay, you can have fun. But just sometimes stop thinking about you and your own feelings. You don't know what you do to other people. I'm gonna cut here because I'm a mess. I'm not. I'm not ashamed to cry. I'm ashamed to cry for the same shit again and again. I know it's part. Anyway, I know it's part of the healing. But I just hate it. You know where the pain is? You know where you have to work on? But sometimes. I know we all just fight for the sorries. And that's what made me so mad. Like, I don't need it. No. Fuck, I'm gonna cut this. I don't... I don't need her sorry. Now. I needed it. At the moment. You know, not someone that tells you. I did it because I want it. I knew you wanted it. But did I deserve it? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna cut the postcard now. I don't know if I'm gonna pass this. Or oh, maybe I'm gonna cut my face while I'm crying. That's good. Too. <laughs> but please, just remember. Just remember, everybody has feelings. You can have fun. And you can have... Spaghetti time. You can have spaghetti time with people. But you don't need to hurt other people for that. <laughs> I 
Anyway, I'm sorry for this bullshit podcast. This was the worst. But I don't know. That's why I hate sex today. I don't like it at all. <laughs> That's also why I hate men. Because they all knew. She knew. I mean, she was in a relationship with me. But I mean, nobody respect nobody anymore. <laughs> And I know it's just TV and everything, just normalizing, cheating and everything, but... <sighs> Fuck this world. Fuck this generation, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you did not have your sorry. I'm sorry if you did. If they cheated, and I'm sorry if you are now stuck in this phase. I'm, I promise you we're gonna be fine. It's gonna maybe take some time, but at least <laughs> we try to go over it, you know. I will not give a chance to someone and also hurt someone because of my traumas now, of because of someone else. I will not give a chance. I will, I will not give myself to someone until I'm healing. I'm healed. Because I will not want to make someone suffer for that. It's not the fault. It's not her fault of the new person. She does not have to suffer for my past. So it will take time. And I accept the time that it will take. We all need time. Thank you, Bessie, for being here. <laughs> You're the reason I wake up every so thank you. See you soon, bestie. For maybe a better podcast. I'm sorry, but I maybe needed to do this. Kisses on the cheek. See you soon.